Hi guys, you are welcome to our Luginous Ideas. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can enhance your Django admin um, user interface um, using Jasmine. It's a modern, responsive and customizable theme for Django's admin panel. Very, very professional UI and you can customize it to your own taste 100%. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do that in this video. Make sure you follow till the end. So I want to believe you have a project on ground. So this is my Django project. I have um, this is nothing much, nothing much is happening here. So just um, I have this particular application. Um, I'll just open. This is my terminal. And don't forget, you are in a virtual environment. I would advise that you do this in a virtual environment, please. So let me just show you what the interface looks like at the moment. So Python manage.py. Then you run your server. So now that my server is up, let me just copy the link and come to my Brave browser, paste it, and come to slash admin. So this is what the admin looks like. Um, let me log out. Log out. Okay. So you can see what the login interface of the admin looks like. This is what the login of the admin looks like. So if I should come to admin, admin, username and the password. It takes me to this interface. If you come to users, this is what it looks like. Um, if you come to groups, this is also what it looks like. Um, there's something I forgot to do. Let me quickly go and do it. If you come under app, come under admin. I have a student model that I created. Model. So this is the students, and I have some data in the database already. If you open my data, I have a, an extension I installed that gave me the opportunity to be able to view this database so you can see all the data that i have in the database for now let me close this come to admin so from dot model import students then admin dot site dot register students so if i save this and i come back and i reload this you see what I'm having now? I'm having students. Actually, I made a mistake here. It's supposed to be just single S. So, but we leave that for now. So you can see what the interface looks like. This is just the default. You can see. You can see. Then you can come to the light mode. So this is the light mode over here. Come to students. Come to users, groups, and all that. Whatever you want to do. This is what this is what the default is. So let us use Jasmine to enhance the user interface. How can we do that? Come here and um, close your let me close your terminal and clear the terminal. Clear the terminal is optional. Just come here and um, the first thing you want to do is to pip install Django Jasmine. This is the name of the package. You can just Google it online. I can copy the whole of that and come here. I will install, don't forget, I'm in a, a virtual environment. So, so this particular package is installed locally on my device. So you can just copy the local um, installation to this particular virtual environment. But on your own end, most likely, if you have not done this before, it will be downloading it afresh. So from there, the next thing you want to do is to include Jasmine. And please make sure that it is at the top of the installed apps of your settings.py file. It is at the top. Please make sure of that. So let me just copy Jasmine. Put it at the top. Come here. Come under settings. Then installed apps at the top. Please save this. It has to be at the top. Then this is the app that I just created. So make sure it's at the top. Then the next thing you want to do is to... Um, just optionally migrate. This is optional, but just um, to be safe. It's better you run the migration. So, just, so you can see, apply all migrations. No migrations to apply. It's just safe for you to run it. Then the next thing you want to do is to run your server. And just by doing that, So if I should come back here to reload this interface, you see what I'm getting now. Something nice and beautiful. Let me log out so you see what the login interface looks like. Come here, then log out. So thank you for spending some quality time with the website today. So log in again. So if I want to log in, admin, 
then add. No, don't forget, I'm in light mode. So, so this is it. I'm in light mode at the moment. So you can do a lot. And one good thing about this particular interface is that it is mobile responsive. So this is something that you can actually push to production. It is mobile responsive. So like I said, this is dark mode, but now we can even do way more than just um, have this boring interface over here. There is way more we can do with it. So how can we do that? If you come under your, if you follow the guide, you see some other further customizations that we can do to Jasmine. What are the further customizations? Just put this in your settings of PY file, then we will go through everything one after the other. So if you come at the base of your settings of PY file, paste it there, save this. You can see the site title, the site header, the welcome sign, and the site brand, the copyright, the search model. This is just telling you that the student's model should be enabled in the search bar. So show the UI builder. Um, if you come here, take a good look at this search bar, for example. Now, I want to show you the work of this particular search model um, option that we included. So if you look, you can see search students. Okay, you can see search students. So, and you have all these other ones. Now, the interesting part is this particular, um, okay, let's do the other ones before we go to the interesting part. So you can see my brand. This text that we have over here, my brand. So a lot of things have changed here actually. So if you come to this place and you come to logout, welcome to the admin panel. You can see the um, welcome sign that we have over here. So log in again. The then let me just log in. Just enter your username and your password. Then you log in. After logging in, then you're going to be having. Um, so if you come under students you can see what the this interface looks like at the moment if i open a single student you can see what this interface looks like you can save delete save and add another save and continue editing save and continue editing then you have the history whatever you want to do like i said everything is intact so you can come under groups you can come under users um, you can see what the user tab looks like it is way better than what we used to have so you can see what this it even broke this into tabs into different tabs so the possibilities here are endless now to the interesting part if you go to dashboard to the interesting part if you come here where is this coming from if you come to the options you see this show ui builder true this is where the magic itself is every user can get to customize what their own interface will look like so the default you can see it is changing everything just by checking all this um default um, theme that we have over here so the theme you can go with cyborg this is cyborg theme this is darkly this is um a journal this is um flatly and so many options are available so many options are available you can see the horse the solar um you can see the sketchy you can see what the sketchy looks like so it's it's a lot of options that are available it's a, a lot of options that are available so you can also choose between the darkly theme the cyborg the slate whatsoever you want to do whatsoever you want to do so many options are available to you so we also have the small text you can choose the body you can also set it to the sidebar you also have the sidebar tweets if you look at the legacy style um, maybe the components part, compact style, whatever you want to do. So the primary, you can do it outline or solid. Um, come back and just do it as solid. Then you have this other navbar variant, whatever color you want to choose. Okay. The possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. Just customize this to your taste. If you want to show the code, you can also show the code. So this is what the code will look like for the jasmine ui tweaks if you come here this jasmine settings you can just if you want to have this exact settings this is what the code is going to look like just copy this and paste it in your settings.py file for jasmine so this is this is everything basically this is everything basically it's it's no it's no long talk it's no long talk so just use this particular procedure to um edit the to to own the interface basically to own the dashboard whatever you want to do with it 
it's 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 totally up to you you have a lot of options available to you so that will be all for now for customizing your um django admin interface the dashboard using jasmine i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you want to share this guide with somebody this is the link over there so just share the guide and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel also share the video on your social media platforms and um, thank you for your support so far we are almost hitting 3000 subscribers and it's all thanks to you thank you very much i'll see you in the next tutorial bye for now